Catherine Vilson from Anna's Greek Restaurant joined me, and you guys haven't been on uh, a, a little while because you were on vacation. Anna was on vacation. I was <laughs> working. Oh, were you still working? Anna's not true. That's not true. Huh? No. <laughs> we're on family vacation. Yeah. Yeah. Every, family. Year, every year we're doing the family vacation, five to six weeks. And then you come back, and then you reopen the restaurant. We reopen the restaurant almost four weeks now. Yep. We've been open. And, and that's how people know that it really is Anna that's, that's doing the cooking. Because when Correct. she goes on vacation, the food stops. Uh, but she, they are back. So, Anna, you are going to show us how to make a, a lamb dish, right? Yeah. We have a couple lamb dishes in the menu, and uh, the people love it. We have a lot of customers. They never try. They are afraid. After they try one time, they just love it. They've been asking me, okay, we need this recipe. We need the recipe. Uh. We need the recipe. So... Okay, we're, we're going to give the recipe. <laughs> the recipe. Well, partially the recipe. But Partial. Those ones are not giving you all the yeah. secret. No, it's fine. Uh, this dish is all everything. Okay. We don't simple. have nothing uh, secret here. So it's simple okay. and easy to prep and to make to everyone. So we don't have any secrets here. Okay. All and I we have, start with um, yeah, lamb, one lamb. Leg lamb. Okay, one leg of lamb. Yes. Oh, this is boneless leg of lamb. Yes. Boneless leg of we lamb. We cut in the big chunks. Okay. And we have five or six medium potatoes here. Okay. So we cut them in the four pieces each. Hmm. So people, uh, Vilson, would kind of be norm. This would kind of resemble maybe doing like a stew or something. You know, it's got the potatoes, the carrots, that kind of stuff. Maybe do this as a, a change. Correct, correct. Uh, it's like a lot of people here in the South eat uh -huh. meat and potatoes. Uh -huh. Well, this is kind of a meat and potato version of kind of Greek. Greek what makes it Greek, 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 Greek is the, the lamb, mm -hmm. the herbs, and that's about it. I mean, a lot of people, even in Glasgow, says now it's a new territory for us, and right. we're kind of covering more. Uh, people ask me, like, what is Greek? You know, yeah. they have no idea what Greek food is. And I ask them, and do you like chicken? Yes. Do you like pork? Yes. Do you like beef? Yes. Well, that's what Greek food is. Right. Just prepared fresh with fresh ingredients. It, the herbs are different than maybe people Correct. are used yeah. to. Correct. Like Italians have a little bit similar herbs to Greek, you can say. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now, how many of the uh, baby carrots did we put in? Yeah, we did one cup. The one cup? Yeah, one cup of the baby carrots. Okay. Organic baby carrots. This is Here. pretty simple. Just throw it off. I can yeah, do this. Yeah, we have. <laughs> this one's like, I could do this. Okay. It, it's easy, but it's uh, mixing all the ingredients yeah. together. So it's not, you can put sugar here. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> I understand. I'm yeah. just saying. So yeah. we chop some garlic here. And how many cloves are you doing on it? I do it. Uh, I did 10 here. 10, ten cloves? Yeah. Okay. Lamb need garlic a flavor. Lemon and garlic, oregano. So we have to broke the, the, the heavy kind of. Okay. The gaminess yeah. of, the, of the lamb. That's why you put so much garlic yeah. and herbs garlic and, and stuff. Lemon yeah. and stuff like that. And when I think Greek, I actually think lamb. I think that that's in a lot a of dishes. A lot of people do, yeah. 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 And I think that that's good. It's something different, you know. Right. Instead it's, of it's pretty lean, actually. It's a very good meat. And okay. um, honest mm -hmm. lamb, when she cooks the lamb, you really don't need a knife. Oh. Just with a fork. It just kind of falls mm -hmm. apart. I chop yeah. the garlic. We Char don't want to uh, make it very fine, so we don't know want to disappear at all. So we do not want it to disappear. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Some chunk. And we can see that it's in some it's good sized chunks, yes. but still, still cut. Yeah. One uh, spoon of the oregano, dry That's oregano. Okay, dried oregano. Dried oregano. Let's do one spoon of the salt. Okay. Half spoon of the black pepper. And it's already looking good. Yeah. Well, it smells good. Yeah. We do some uh, green onion just for more flavor to it. And I keep actually chopping that up. Let's actually take a commercial break. We'll have you kind of fill, finish everything up. We'll let you know how to finish this dish, and we'll also tell you a little bit more about some other dishes you can get over at Anna. Mm -hmm. Anna's making yeah. us today. We have the lamb, we have carrots, potatoes, we put in uh, a little bit of the green onions, uh, salt, salt, and pepper. salt, salt and pepper, pepper, oregano, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. lots of junky garlic. Yes. yes. Yep. And now we're doing some uh, olive oil. Okay. Don't be afraid of olive oil. It's all healthy. Yeah. Uh, everything we cook at the restaurant, we cook with uh, olive oil. It's okay. Very expensive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. It's expensive. Honestly, it's good for well, you. That's, that's the real, the uh, real stuff. So. Yeah. So we do some lemon, and lots of lemon, lemon too. You and the whole lemon? Probably two. Two lemons, okay. Yeah. Lots of lemon. And I, I love lemon on mine. Yeah. That's my what kind of acidic, you know, takes a game away, so you you can't taste anything different. It's just very good beef, you can say. Do or, you think peop that's the one thing that people are afraid of, that it'll be too gamey? Correct, gaming? because, you know, the Greeks kind of cook this mm -hmm. in the spit, too, so like the whole lamb. It's all together. So and that's 
why I have that gamey taste because it's just grilled pretty much. And that's oh. maybe intimidating for some people. Correct. But correct. you guys know how to cook it to where we get that gamey taste out. Yes. Of course, like with the lemon you said, uh, a lot of the oregano, the garlic. Mm -hmm. Now, while you're mixing this up all on a so oh, what's in temperature, we have the yeah, oven in on. the 400. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're okay. Don't worry. Sorry. In the 400, we start with the 400 okay. for one hour. One After hour. After that, we slow down in 350 okay. for 15 more minutes. Okay. So the trick is covered with foil. Yeah. Foil? Yeah. Okay. First, I have to cover so we don't uh, burn the top. Do the burn in the pot. Okay. So we so put tin foil. So we have TV magic on. I made another pan just like this yes. in the oven. So and we have the other one. And, uh, is that too warm for you, Anna? This there you go. Look how beautiful that is. And now, I was talking to you guys before about this dish. This isn't something that's a permanent fixture uh, on the menu, right, Anna? This is uh, maybe a special you may Yeah, bring? we do a couple times. It's not like special, mm -hmm. but we have a tour on this week for sure. Okay, it will the be this week. This yeah. week special. Yeah, this issue usually does for like Valentine's, New Year's mm -hmm. Eve, Mother's Day, because it's a very easy dish right. for people to eat and it's enjoyable. It's, you see how the lamb is so, so well cooked. Now, what is this called on the menu? Uh, it will be lemonato. Lemonato. Lem okay. lemonato. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. Okay. Now this, when you're plating it, what, does something come on the side or anything else come with it? Yes, the tzatziki sauce. Okay. Well, the sauce that yeah. I can just drink. <laughs> yeah. I love that sauce. I said it's a more uh, green. Uh, oh, she makes it look all pretty. Mm -hmm. Always. Always. Put that right. Beautiful. So now, so this will be on this week, and I know you guys said you just opened up again coming back from vacation the last couple of weeks. Yep. Bill, so are you guys doing anything else specials for well, being open? Definitely. We, every week, on up prepares specials, mm -hmm. and those you can find usually on Facebook. We are pretty active on Facebook. Everything that's going on special, you can request a special dish. A lot of customers request special okay. dishes, and Anna will make them that Aww. we have run before. We just bring them back. Uh, so Facebook is the source to uh, get us all the information, what we have, and special. In two weeks, we'll be at the Global Fest. If you want to get come and try some, uh, again, enough different lamb dishes, a Euro lamb special uh, with beef mixed together with that sauce mm -hmm. that you like to drink. Uh, we'll have it there <laughs> and also we'll have uh, chicken in the skewer with yep. uh, vegetables. We'll be grilling and we're going to have a lot of time. It's a good, it's free to everybody, everybody from Bowling Green and yep. surrounding counties of Glasgow. Come over. Uh, it's a global fest in Glasgow. Yeah. And we'll be there. Uh, we'll have our own booth and uh, we'll be very much giving out quite a bit of food. Everything will be about five, six dollars. So it's inexpensive to try it out and enjoy some delicious food. Well, and where are you guys at actually in Glasgow? Actually, we're in Glasgow in Happy Valley Road, uh -huh. right across from uh, Gillyhide Ford, and uh, it's a brand new building renovated, and that's our new location. Hopefully soon we'll have another one in Bowling Green. Uh, we're working on it every day. So, you know, everybody, every day, Ask me on Facebook. Yes, we are working to get another one in Bowling Green. We will. We got seven years here. We're still number one in TripAdvisor because people re reviews based on that right. experience. So we'll be back. You know, and uh, we brought this to you as a bon voyage gift oh, since you're so leaving. Sweet. We had so many shows with you. Oh, we really enjoy our time here. Yeah. And uh, coming back, we want to wish you best it of is. luck. It is. And, uh, it was nice meeting you yes. and cooking with you a lot of times. You guys Good. have, some of the food have definitely. You, you guys have definitely treated me so well, Anna. Oh, you have been a you pleasure so to work thank with. You. Thank, thank you. It's thank so you. nice to be here. Yes. Yeah. I know you. My recipe with all my customer. I know. I can tell all the love that you put into it, Anna. Thank and I, you. That's why I love it. Again, we'll put up the information for Anna. They're in Glasgow. Jump on their Facebook page. You can keep up with all of their uh, daily uh, specials that they do. Whatever Anna brings up, and you know, if you ask, maybe she'll actually make what you want. <laughs> we got also lunch every day. Different specials, about eight ninety nine, seven ninety nine specials daily and lunch. We're closed Sunday and Monday, so try us any other day. Any we'll other day. Sunday and Monday. All right, both of you. Thank you guys so much. Thanks. We'll be right back. I'm going to dig in. All right.